bienvenidos a este nuevo episodio de Replay Con ustedes Urusu Six Y aquí le traemos un Let's Play de Metal Gear Solid Primer episodio, donde podrán ver la primera sección de cómo comienza la historia y el desarrollo del juego Para fines de información, en la barra de título hay un botón rojo que dice Skip Story Para aquellos que quieren evitar spoilers sobre la historia del juego Y solamente ver el gameplay específicamente cuando comience una cinemática pueden presionar ese botón y volarán la cinemática. Y ahora disfruten de este gameplay de Metal Gear Solid. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. En esta primera parte del gameplay del juego, podemos ver cómo nos dan en un nos sueltan en un área donde el objetivo, según podemos ver, es establecer los movimientos básicos de Snake y cómo es la mecánica de infiltración del juego. Es una parte que sirve como tutorial en cierta forma, donde no es tan difícil y simplemente debes ir de un punto A a un punto B, bastante sencillo. Pero es en esta parte donde puedes ver cómo el personaje es danea, cómo se esconde a través de los objetos, cómo mira a través de las esquinas, cómo el sonido afecta y llama la atención de los enemigos, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. En esta parte también vemos cómo la presentación cinemática aún se mantiene, los créditos saliendo en pantalla cada vez que eh, vamos moviéndonos y se van viendo los programadores, diseñadores, etc. Bastante impresionante.
It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. 
It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left, and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. COA se refiere a Course of Action o Curso de Acción. Desde las primeras horas de este juego se nos da libertad sobre cómo queremos infiltrar la base de Shadow Moses. Y hay varias, como vimos ya anteriormente, propuestas de por dónde tú puedes entrar a la base. Y aquí vemos ya eh, el gameplay, ya lo que es en el juego real cero entrenamiento, no tutoriales y es aquí donde las cosas se ponen un poquito interesantes A surveillance camera? Para apreciar un juego como Metal Gear Solid, debes prestar mucha atención a los detalles, como las huellas del personaje en la nieve, cómo los guardias se dan cuenta de las huellas y las siguen, las rastrean, cómo cuando te descubren llaman refuerzos, etcétera, etcétera, cómo las cámaras de seguridad pueden detectarte y es como un universo totalmente basado en la realidad. Es bastante impresionante considerando que es un juego que salió para PlayStation 1. That base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that, too. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hein D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That Hein will be coming back soon. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Snake, when you enter a narrow space, you'll automatically go into intrusion mode. Press up on the directional button to go forward, and down to retreat backwards. You can also press right or left to face either direction. 
Advance while hiding yourself. Pay attention to the enemy's actions and make sure you're not discovered. But be careful. You can't attack while you're in intrusion mode either. And even if you go into intrusion mode while you're being chased, the enemy's grenades will still follow you. Snake, first you've got to find the DARPA chief. Look for clues. in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. They say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the Chief. Snake, didn't you hear that the DARPA Chief was moved to a cell in the first floor basement? Como pueden ver, una vez entramos a los tubos de ventilación de la base, la vista del juego cambia a primera persona y esto le da un nivel de envolvimiento mucho más realista al juego. Y como pueden ver, puedes mirar por las rejillas y enterarte de qué está pasando en la base aparte de las cosas que estás viendo desde ahí. Press the action button to drop down. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it.
A través de las conversaciones de radio, el juego se mantiene informándote de las cosas que debes hacer y de los detalles de historia que no puedes ver en la cinemática. up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They... 
could launch a nuke. What? How did they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. There is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes, they cemented over the entrances but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha.
okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? What's that? Hey, what happened? Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? <sighs> no. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. You say the DARPA chief is dead? Yeah. According to Naomi, it was a heart attack. It couldn't be. Well, it looks like... All you can do now is find Kenneth Baker, the president of Arms Tech. He's in the second floor basement, isn't he? Yeah, on the other side of that wall that was cemented over. Okay. Good luck, Snake. You can do it. Sorry, Snake, but it looks like the rescue was a failure. There's no reason to stay in that cell anymore. Snake, get out of there and go to the second floor basement. You've got to rescue the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker, before the terrorists find out his detonation code. So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful, I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance, that scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here! Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! I'm telling you, shoot!
Thanks for the help. Wait! Who are you? You fool! You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Soldiers that have been forged in the fires of battle are used to catching naps whenever and wherever they can. There's a big difference between real soldiers and those kids who have only been trained in VR simulators. After playing for a long time, you should get some rest too. Snake, Psycho Mantis has the power to read people's minds. He got the DARPA chief's detonation code. Hurry up or he'll get Baker's code too. That's right. If the terrorists get Baker's code, they'll be able to launch that nuke anytime they want. Yeah, they'll use Metal Gear to do it. Colonel, did you know they were conducting a military exercise here using Metal Gear? I didn't know. Really? Snake, you've got to understand. I'm just the middleman in this operation. Anyway, hurry up and get to the second floor basement. You've got to save the arms tech president before the terrorists find out his code.
hasta aquí llega nuestro episodio de hoy de Replay. Con ustedes estuvo Russo Six. Aquí entregándoles el primer Let's Play de Metal Gear Solid 1, la primera sección. Como siempre, no olviden darle like, comentar, compartir y apoyar nuestro canal.